All right, let's do the next one. What's the next one? Use an accumulation to sum up only the even numbers in a list. So now, actually, this bears on um, this bears on the questions at the beginning of class of like, if you if you had a problem where you had to sum up the even numbers of the list, if you went straight to accumulation, that would be a little odd, because like probably what you should think is first I'm going to do a filter, and then I'm just going to add up the list, right? First I'll filter in the even numbers. Then I've got a list of even numbers, and I'll just add them up, right? That would be more normal. Um, but in this case, I want you to try to do the filtering and combining in, at once, which you can do with accumulate. So there's the problem. All right, so pretty much we're going to do, we're going to go with this lambda PV thing again. So it's going to be some accumulation with, I like lambda of, of V and P. Okay, so what is P in the big picture here? What does it represent? The result. The result, the result of what? Yeah, this, the, sum, the sum so far. So the sum of all the even numbers we've encountered. And when we get our way to the end, then this lambda will, re will return the answer. When we're all the way at the front, we're doing the last application. It's combining the first number in the list and the sum so far, and it combines it and spits out the answer. So, okay, so pretty much what we have to do is we have to tell, and V is the number we're going we're gonna to conditionally add in right now. V is the number we're working on right now. And so we're going to test if V is even. And if V is even, what do we do? Yeah, we, we add these two together. So then we're like, okay, we're going to add V to the prior sum. So V will now be included in the sum. If V is, if v is odd, then what do we do? Yeah, I saw a few people write plus zero P, like where this is the placeholder. Like instead of adding V, we're going to add zero. And then, right, oh yeah, you can just say, you could just say P. That's what the result of adding zero to P is. So that, that's it. That's, that's the lambda. And, we, and what's the base case? We have to feed it a zero, right? We have to feed it a zero as the initial sum. So this is the answer.